<clears throat> Hello and welcome everybody, King Dempsey here, bringing you some FTL, faster than light. Uh, got this game very recently in less Steam sales, as many of you probably have got games in the Steam sales, so probably like, yeah, Steam sales! So uh, I thought I'd give this a little let's play, it's a really, 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 really fun game, uh, I'm massively enjoying it so far. Uh, I played about five hours, so I'm no professional. I kind of know what I'm doing, but I'm no professional, so um, let's just get straight into it. Nor Norwin Schultz. Now we're gonna go. Fappy Monjen. Hi, hi. Fappy, Fappy, Flappy Wib, Fappy Wibble, Fappy Wibble. That's a good name. Except, so that's Wibble Wibbles in command. Let's go for. Neil's customized Nellis? No, 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 no. How about Scrimpy Numbucket? Numbuck. Scrimpy Numbuck. Yeah, that'll do. Scrimpy Numbuck. That's a good name. Uh, so we got Wibble Numbuck and 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 Dan. Yeah, that is the crew. Wibble Numbuck, Dan. Fappy Wibble, Scrimpy Numbuck, and Dan. Oh yeah, that is the crew. Uh, we're gonna stick with all this crap. This is what our ship looks like, the Kestrel. Wow. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna get our asses out here. <clears throat> the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But to get to the exit before blah, 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 I'm good at reading. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. So yeah, that's what we got to do. We got to get to the end before the evil guys catch us. So you know, that's pretty common. Right, so we got Wibble on Numbuck. You're definitely going to be on... Uh, let's unpause this beer snitch. And we're going to get Dan in the engine room. So we're going to get Wibble manning the... Uh... Right, let's power up the weapons. And uh, and, and let's get out of here. Uh, we're not going to go to a store first because it's a little bit pointless. We're going to go... Here, so we can go here, so we can go to the store if we need. Uh, yeah, that seems like a good plan. Basically, I'm trying to go through here. Here we go. Here we go. Right, here's our first taste of combat. So, uh, this is a, uh, like a little missile. It does a nice bit of damage to systems and pierces shields. So, um, I turn auto fire on. Basically, that means that uh, a weapon will keep firing once you target it. So, I've targeted the laser. The laser, every time it's charged, will now hit the shields. And then I do control click to fire one shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take out their... Um, I want to take out their drone system as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to just keep wailing on the shields. And then I can kind of decide what to target after that. This laser is pretty useless against shields though. So our shields should probably hold up. Hopefully they'll recharge quickly. Okay, so we've taken out the shields. Our missile, it looks like missed, but now that their shields are taken out, we can go and focus their. Oh, uh, crap! We're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to drain that fire out. Uh, okay. Oh damn it! We've lost our door control. Crap! And RO2. Shit! 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 This isn't going well. Uh, 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 fire their weapons. Go, go, go! Take their weapons out quick. It's trying, trying to fire up FTL. Okay, we'll get that. Jesus Christ! We've taken a beating in our first battle, guys. Oh, oh dear! We need to you numbuck, numbuck. Go, 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 go! You need to, you need to heal, you need to heal up the doors. Heal up. We'll get Wibble in there as well. Wibble, you need to go help repair the door control. Wibble, help repair the door control. Otherwise, we are screwed. Okay, open, 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 and open. Oh shit! We lost the medical center. Oh dear! It's all going wrong. Okay, we're venting atmosphere at the moment. But that's good. We, we should hopefully be getting rid of some fires. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything else is on fire. We're gonna we're gonna close all of these doors now. We'll send Wibble back up to the helm, and we'll get Dan and, and Numbuck uh, getting some shit together. Okay, we'll hit. We'll we'll sort this out first, so that we can actually see the rest of the ship. Okay, now we're gonna open all the doors on the ship. This basically means, as you can see, look, the oxygen levels will go up massively because you get ventilation and shit running out, running around the place, and, um, yeah. We took an absolute beating on our first battle. That's pretty, uh, pretty uncommon. You normally don't take that much damage on your first battle. 
normally like the first couple of systems are pretty simple, pretty easy to uh, to get through, and you shouldn't take too much damage in them. But we we seem to have we seem to have missed out there. Uh, did the ship? No, we destroyed it. We destroyed it. Get away! I was worried it got away for a second. I was like, no, but guys, we fought so long and so hard. But nah, 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 they didn't get away. Uh, is everyone on a hundred health? Yeah, nobody took any damage there, which is good. So. I tend to keep power away from the, um, uh, what was number on? We had Dan in the engine room, didn't we, because we were like, screw Dan. Dan's a boring old bastard. Okay, so, um, anyway, I like to keep the med bay powered down if I don't have spare energy, because as you can see, that basically, uh, let me, let me, let me take power out of, like, everything. I'll just, um, I'll just power down everything that I can. Okay, so basically, this is the total amount of reactor, unused reactor energy. So, as you can see, if I want to power, I don't quite have enough to power all my systems. So, rather than lose um, some power in the engines, I like to power down the med bay, power up the engines. It ups our evade chance, which means we can dodge uh, incoming weapon fire. Uh, and also charges up our engines a little bit faster, so we can jump if we need to get out of dodge. There's a distress beacon there. Right, we're going to head to the distress beacon and see what is what. Try to shield... Ah, damn it. Uh, basically, that was a civilian ship uh, in an asteroid field. We tried to help them out with our shields, but they uh, they died anyway, and we just about got out of the asteroid field. But we got some scrap from it, so... Probably worth it. Worth it for a bit of scrap. I didn't mind taking damage. Okay, we need to get our arse to store quickly, because the Federation fleet is... Uh, leave them alone. Uh, basically, that was, uh, they asked for my, uh, there was some ships talking about, uh, needing to take an enemy ship alive. And, um, I, I'm not equipped for that, so. Oh, we could get ourselves an ion blast. That disables enemy systems. It doesn't do much damage, but it, it, uh, basically it doesn't do any damage, but it can disable systems without doing damage. Which is very desirable. I'm buying that. Fuck it. I'm risking it. Um, but okay, so basically when you are fighting, uh, you can either blow up the enemy ship, except they surrender sometimes, or um, what you can do is you can try and disable their O2. Uh, I'm actually going to swap this out, power down the Artemis and power up the Ion Blast. Uh, and basically what they do is uh, you can disable their O2 and if they all suffocate in their ship it means that um, you uh, get more scrap that way, you get more resources for fighting their ship. So we're going to try this out and see if it works. They seem to have double burst lasers by the looks of things which isn't... Oh they miss with both. Okay so we've taken out their weapons, now we target their O2 with some... We're going to try and keep their uh, their weapons disabled, so we should be able to disable their O2. Actually, now we're going to fire a burst of their O2. Okay, there you go. Now we're not going to we're going to try and not do any hull damage. Okay, we need to try and uh, they haven't got enough weapon damage to fudge us up at the moment. So, oh, they got out of there. Oh, damn it! No. I forgot! Yeah, there's more of a, like, warning now. Crap. That basically means I've got to run away a little bit quicker. Damn it, I forgot. I such a silly sausage. The Mantis ship. Oh, damn it. Uh, okay, what have they got? They've got a missile and a burst laser by those things. So, actually, no, no, no. I think, I think that's a burst laser, actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus fire on their weapons and keep their shields down if we can. We're gonna try and upgrade our sensors pretty soon. Oh, that'll take out their shields. Yeah, they have a missile of some sort. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, we're now gonna target their O2. I don't think we're gonna be able to take the ship alive. Uh, especially not if I keep firing burst lasers at them. I don't think we're going to be able to take ship alive because it's not got much hull, so... And our ion blast is only going to do surveys to keep their shields down. 
Yeah, there you go. Fuck it, I'm just gonna finish him off. Damn it, they they were just too delicate to be able to keep alive. We got an anti-ship drone though, which is good. Uh, drones are cool, but you have to have a drone system installed as well. So not only do you have to buy or find the drone, you have to buy the system to install the drones to actually be able to have them running around. Um, so I would be tempted to sell this drone at the next store. Can we afford to jump to that store? I don't. I don't think I'm gonna bother. I don't think I need to. My hull is taking a bit more damage than I'd like. Uh, chased by a pirate. Okay, let's help. Let's help these guys out. Just bang these guys, and then phew. actually we're gonna get one shot because our ion blast should charge up quicker than our laser, and we'll disable their shields. And then hopefully this burst laser will take out their weapons. They're gonna get at least yeah, they're gonna get one shot off at the very least. Um, okay, we're just gonna target their shields with the burst laser. Okay, and now we take the Ion Blast out on their O2, and we don't bother burst lasering them anymore. Their shields are down, so we can just Ion Blast systems that we want to keep down. So we're gonna keep their shields down, we'll go for that. Nah, fuck it, we're just gonna have to kill them. Again, couldn't take them, uh... Couldn't take them alive, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, they patched up some of my hull damage. That was nice. That was good, actually. That, I'd rather have that than some scrap. So, Wibble, Numbuck, and Dan are doing pretty good. Uh, missiles for drone parts. Now we don't want that. Okay, I'm not going to get Numbuck and Dan to go off and heal the med bay, just in case. That's always good. If you ever get bored, you're going to need your med bay. Med bay helps out a lot. Uh, when Basically, you can be boarded. And if you get boarded, then I what I do is I have like a little rotating system. So if there's two boarders, I'll get two of my people to fight while one guy sits in the med bay. And then I'll rotate out a guy who's injured, let him sit in the med bay to heal up, and then just keep doing that. And that way you can repel invasions without ever losing anybody. Uh, let's go to the next sector. Both are civilians, so... Literally, no idea which one I clicked. Uh, okay, let's go... Okay, we don't need to go to the store. We're going to do what we did again. We'll go there, 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 and then head out system. Again, we're trying to maximise the amount of systems we go to without... Um, without risking too much, without taking too long to do it, so... Fuel 6, don't need anything. We're just getting really crappy trades that I don't want, which kind of sucks. Okay. Uh, what does he have? Oh, we may be able to buy a crew member if we sell our anti-ship drone. Okay, so we can afford uh, either an NG or a Mantis. NG are really good at repairing stuff but very bad at repelling borders. Mantis are the opposite. Very, very good at repelling borders, but very bad at repairing stuff. So I think, because this goes slightly cheaper, we're going to go for this guy. We don't really need much else. Uh, we can't really sell. We could sell our Artemis missiles, but I'm inclined to keep hold of them for now, because they do a lot of damage, and if we're in a tough situation, I'd actually rather have that. The, the ion blast if we're in a really bad sitch, so we'll just use the rest of our money on repairing the hull. Mantisy bastard, get your penis on the shields. You can man the shields for now, so that's good. Um, we're gonna very soon, now that we're in the second system, we kind of need to start upgrading our systems. So basically another thing you can do with your scrap, uh, fuck it, we'll just destroy and loot the ship. Uh, sorry, I keep skipping over them. I'll start reading them for now. Basically, that's a pirate ship trapped in an asteroid. You can either choose to try and free the pirate ship or just destroy the pirate ship and take all their crap. Uh, freeing the pirate ship, they will give you stuff, but there is a chance that in attempting to free them, you'll destroy them anyway. Uh, so I just tend to destroy them. They're pirates. Who gives a fuck? Um, okay, so basically what you can do with your scrap as well as buying stuff, you can upgrade your own systems, as you can see here. Uh, a really good thing is to upgrade your system up to two shield bars really quickly. Um, I'll need to pay 30 scrap, or will I just need to pay 20 and 30, so I think I need 50 scrap to do that. And then I need to upgrade the power to be able to actually power that second bar of shields up. Uh, the shield upgrade is a really good thing to do. Um, it's really recommended. Uh, because it means you can take like two, 
Oh, yeah, I want some missiles, actually. Missiles are good. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, two shields, because it means you can basically take two hits from most enemies, and two will tend to be the maximum amount of weapons most enemies will have early in the game, so having double shields is really helpful. Where are we going to go? Well, we look like we can head towards the exit while still visiting a lot of star systems, so... Oh, a Mantis ship. Oh, look, here you go. That means they've got transport system and they're going to try and board us. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep their shields down and we're going to take out their weapon system. But we're also going to prepare for boarding. So when this happens, I'll see... There you go. There, There's the two intruders. So we'll get Wibble out of there. We'll get Numbuck and Dan all involved and we'll get ready to get rid of... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send... When these two are both ready, we're going to send them both in. Uh, we've kind of fudged their weapons up a little bit. Oh, damn it, they're still doing some damage though. Okay, now we're going to pause, we'll get Wibble out of there, and we'll get Dan in there. I'm going to have to get Hector out as well. Crap, I'm going to have to get Dan out. No! Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh my god, he survived. How the hell did Hector live? Go! Hector! Get healed up. Dan, go. Oh my god, there's no power in the, sh in the healing bay. Oh, okay, they disappeared, they disappeared, they disappeared, they disappeared, they disappeared, they disappeared. Uh, okay, we now need to get everyone over to... Um... Jesus Christ, we're getting wrecked here. Okay, burst laser on their weapons. We need to take their weapons out as hard and fast as we can. Come on, come on. You get preparing stuff. You repair the shield. Nah, we're losing Hall integrity and crap. It's not going well. It's not going well at all. Mantis, help. I know your repair speed's half, but you are kind of useful. Go on the weapons. Okay, we're swapping. We're powering down the Iron Blast and we're powering up the Artemis. Fudge it. We need to make an Artemis shot as soon as we can. Get Dan out there and get this guy in here. Uh, okay, fire the Artemis, fire the Artemis. Yes, now take out their weapons some more. We'll lay some more damage down their weapons. We'll get another Artemis shot on their weapons. Okay, now we need to try and take out their engines. Oh, what? How the hell did... Yeah, let's follow them. Screw it. Okay, that was not a good fight, that didn't go very well because I was repelling the borders for so long, but we're going to pop the Iron Blast off to the side and I think we're just going to focus on destroying people until we get two bars of shields because it's actually really risky trying to, uh, who's been at the helm? Wibble, get Wibble back up at the helm, because Dan been on engines, and Numbuck has been on weapons. And we'll get our Mantis friend on the shields, we'll just let, uh, put the power back in the engines. We'll let Wibble heal up the old, uh... So where's the quest mark? I think I'll all the way up, up to there. If we head to the store, we can heal up, but it will... Okay, we'll head to the store and heal up, and we'll see. We don't always, we don't always have to go after them. Oh, you learn it's Mantis. You detect and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space when you learn it's Mantis. Just in the pod of pride open. I pry it open because we could. It cuts the close person in half with a single swipe. Okay, so we need to kill this guy. Damn. Oh my god, and we lost. Uh... What's his face? Oh, we'll just send Wibble to go and we'll just send our Mantis to go deal with him, Hector. Oh, Hector's getting his ass kicked. I think Hector was already slightly damaged. Okay, we'll get we'll get a uh, bloody numbuck in there tanking, and then we'll get Hector to fuck him up. That's really disappointing because we just lost. Uh, who did we lost? Dan. Oh, Dan was always going to be the guy to die first. Numbuck and Wibble—they're too interesting. They can't die first. Oh shit! We need to take some power of the engines and power up the med bay. I keep forgetting I need to power up the med bay. Bum, 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 bum. We'll get Numbug back on the old weapons and we'll have to send uh, Hector in to man the engines. 
iPad and that power up that. Uh, okay, are we, hang on, are we at the store yet? No, that's the store, okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time to go and do that quest, it's literally on the other side of the friggin' map. Hull Michal, Hull Smasher Laser. Long range scanners is pretty interesting. I fucking don't want this iron blast anymore. I can't believe I bought it. Oh, uh, we need some. We need some fuel. And we need to repair some hull damage. So, and then we'll jump out of here. We really need to start spending scrap upgrading our systems, but we keep taking massive beatings. And this is not going to be nice either. Oh, automated scout. Crap in a bucket. This isn't going to be good. Okay, we're just going to... We can't even do anything because he's cloaked. We're going to lose our shields to these asteroids. And then when he fires, if the firing is synced up right, then it's actually going to hit straight into our hull. Okay, he missed with that shot, which is good. Okay, let's just... Let's just... Fuck it. Let's go straight for his uh, pilot room and just take him out. That's a missile that's going to hit our hull. Fuck, it just wrecked RO2. Okay, we actually need to get straight in there and seal that one up. Okay, we're actually we're wrecking the enemy ship, which is good. That was a hull breach right there, but we managed to deal with it, and then we're going to heal up the O2 system straight up freaking way. We may jump our asses out of here. Okay, okay, okay. They took a bit of a beating. Okay, okay, we killed it. Fuck me. Okay, we got a buttload of scrap out of that. Okay, we're actually going to um Let's just jump out of here. We don't we can't go to the quest. I have had a really rough start when no attempt to remain concealed. You power down non-essential systems. They either don't want to fight or have failed to notice your ship. The latter being more likely. The later. Lol. Oh, Okay, let's upgrade the shield systems. Accept uh, doodle and let's hang on. Uh, open all doors in the ship just to get the oxygen ventilating. Let's also power down that one, power that up one, and get these two into the med bay for some heals. They're healing up. Oh god, we've not had a we've not had a good start. We have not started well. I uh, I can't. I don't think I can lie to anyone here. Uh, this has not been the smoothest start in the whole world. But you know, there's probably been worse starts. Ugh. Probably people. Sorry, I was getting my phone there. People have probably died on the first battle, so I don't. Oh, do we go to the? Fuck it. We're gonna go to the distress beacon. You gotta play risky, boys and girls. Give them some fuel. Ah, oh, and they gave us a buttload of scrap. Oh, sweet. So I can actually do my second shield. I want those shields. Seriously, the sh second shield bar is so damn helpful. Because now what we need is like 40 scrap for a couple of uh, cell 3 drone parts. Yes, please. Now, see, all we need is one more thing for the power bar to be able to do this. We'll put it in the engine so now. Uh, let's pry down a bit, actually. Bam, there you go. The second shield bar, I'm having that because I am not looking good on uh, on hull, as you can see. That's down to about third-ish, probably. Uh, yeah, I think those three things are like first, third, second, third. Third, third. Do we go to Rebel Controlled or Mantis Controlled? The Rebels are who I'm fighting against, but then the Mantis is... Uh, basically, these are the paths you can take through the sectors, so I, from here I could go to two kind of civilian -y sectors. I went to here, so I can go to a Hostile or Nebula, I went to the Hostile. Now if I go to the Rebel Controlled Sector, I can go to Hostile, uh, Civilian... It makes this part of my journey easier, because I can go to Civilian or Nebula. But it makes the later part of my journey harder because I have to go through at least one evilly hurtful sector. Whereas if I go this way, I can guarantee myself one, two more uh, at least. Whereas if I go this way, I only have to do. No, actually, if I go this way, I only have to do one more uh, hostile sector after. So I'm gonna go this way. Uh, okay. Where can I go now? Uh, we'll head to here, to here, and then to the store. Uh, maybe here, to here, to here, and then the store. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. 
Not much. Okay, well that's good. Oh, there's a stress call there, so we definitely will go there and check that one out. Send your crew in a shuttle to help put out the fire dock and try and rescue survivors. You find the source of a distress call. Small research station. Small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is not responding. Send your crew in a shuttle. Valiantly keeps the fire at bay. A few scientists were able to save or destroy, but grateful you drop them off the next station. Scrap 41. Definitely, definitely worth. We'll pop one more so I can keep that powered up. Okay, so now we're looking good on the shields. And we could upgrade our sensors. Yes, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna do that. I like having the sensor upgrade. No fuel. Shit. Okay, let's wait around. Shit. I have to wait one more. Fuck. You need some fuel with Predator Doc to help. Oh crap. They have a rock. I have one rock and one human. Uh Okay, well let's uh, burst laser there, hang on, hang on, let's burst laser that and let's do that on the shields. He's off to man the shields, little douche mobile. Fudge! They tricked me! Well, they didn't, I knew, I kind of knew what was going to Oh yeah, there's like a, a hull breach, sweet. Okay, let's just keep burst lasering their... Uh, They're trying to escape. Well, let's put a missile on there. Bam! Missiles for... Nah, we won't accept surrender. You'll get more if you don't accept their surrender. Which is good. Okay, they're now all, like, gonna suffocate. Is that guy gonna die? I hope so. Okay, I'm not gonna fire anything for now. Because that guy is gonna die pretty soon. Oh, he's gone to the med bay. Let's take out that med bay! Oh, okay, I killed him. See, it's really interesting because it means you, it, it, like, you have an easier time seeing what goes on. Did I get some fuel? Okay, I got some fuel. Crap, I can get out of here quick. Damn it, I am not looking, I'm not looking good. I'm probably going to demand the surrender of their goods. They're trying to escape. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Uh, fuck up their engines. Burst lasers, some of that. Oh wow, they got three layers of shields. That is a lot. Oh my god, my burst laser's down. Uh, we'll fire one of them onto that then. Damn, I'm taking some damage. I'm probably gonna die here. I have a funny feeling that I may die here. Burst lasers at engines, plus. Come on, burst laser the engines, damn it. I'm gonna fire another missile at that. Damn it! Oh, I missed! Yeah, they're gonna get away. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, my hole's like critical, so... I don't remind that they got away, because I'm gonna get deaded pretty soon. I don't think this playthrough's gonna last particularly long, guys. I need to get to that store, but I can't. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I've got barely any fuel. Fuel, I'm gonna die. Crap. Drone control. Actually, shields. And now I'm drone control. If I take like one missile, I will die. Oh, one hit and I'm dead. Yeah, there you go. Well, GG, guys. I died. That was not a good play of me. Well, that is my first attempt and fail to record Fast in the Light. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment and whatever, and subscribe and all that. I've been King Demps. Speak to you next time.